Today we're going to continue our collection of out-of-print underworld teams with the Ripa's Snarl Fangs. Alright, let's start things off by getting a look at the kit here. Alright, immediately I love the sculpt on the bases. This is really cool looking. I love the little rock details that it comes with. Uh, so let's have a quick look at the paint scheme that we're going to be working with. Alright, it looks like we're going to need some grays, maybe a lighter gray. I'm thinking that Griff Charger Gray and maybe Space Wolf Gray is going to work best for this. And then it looks like the standard green for the skin and then red for the clothing. Alright, so let's go ahead and get these built. And then after our uh, now usual dry brush of light gray and parchment, we're going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to paint the whole team, uh, but this shouldn't take too horribly long. We're going to start off with some Agros Dunes over all of the uh, sandy bits of the base. Now there's a lot of little rock details and some bones on the bases. I'm doing my best to avoid those so that we can preserve those details and not have to do any extra painting, but uh, some of them are just going to get covered up by accident. Now we're going to use some Griff Charger Gray, and this is going to go over all of the skin and fur of the wolf. Now this is going to give a nice kind of uh, pale gray skin tone for them, uh, which I do want to kind of make sure gets highlighted. But we're also going to need to do something to make the fur a little bit darker, but we'll address that in future steps. Now there are a lot of little details on these wolves. There's some leather strapping, some saddle kind of things, and uh, the four paws have these little kind of leather wraps or bracers. So I'm using a, a little bit more precision than I normally would on just a base large model like this, just to kind of try and make sure that I don't uh, accidentally cover up any details. And all of these little goblins have some kind of fur tuft or a helmet with fur or something like that. Those are also going to get the Griff Charger Gray just to kind of give the impression that if they have a wolf that dies, they use some of the uh, parts to decorate themselves. Now we're going to use some Basilicanum Gray. This is going to go over any of the stonework as well as all of the blades of the weapons and the faces of the shields. Now, I wanted these models to be a little bit brighter than what I usually uh, end up painting, so I'm trying to be fairly sparing with the Basilicanum just to kind of let the uh, more natural uh, bright colors pop out. Alright, so now I'm going to use some Gut Rip of Flesh uh, for all of the goblin skin tones. Now, I don't do it in this video, but I would recommend using a wash, uh, like a kind of a light green wash just to give some extra skin tones for them, because while this does work out nicely, it doesn't give a ton of shadows on its own. Alright, so now we're going to use some Curabird Crimson just to give the sand a little bit of a red texture. It dries much, much lighter than what you see on camera here. But this will give it a nice little bit of extra coloration and help it stand out from some of the other bases that I've painted up. Alright, so now I'm going to do a light coating of Space Wolf Gray over all of the patches of fur. Uh, now, for whatever reason, the camera did not catch how much of a contrast difference this is from the rest of the skin tones. Um, I'm hoping that you'll be able to see it a little bit easier in the uh, final video where I show the whole team put together, but there really is quite the difference in color. It's much, much darker than it appears on camera right now. All 
All right, so now we're going to go over all of the leather details. Uh, so I'm using a fine tip brush to kind of just pick out everything that is a leather strap, saddle, just kind of anything that looks like it might be leather or isn't cloth. Alright, with that done, we're going to use some Skeleton Horde. There's a lot of little bone decorations on the model and as well as on the bases, so we're going to use this to pick them out, just give them a little bit of uh, contrasting detail. Now for some Flesh Terrors Red, I'm going to pick out all of the uh, fabric sections, except for this guy's cloak. We're going to do something a little bit different with that later, but all of their pants and the little kind of uh, banners that are hanging off them are going to get the Flesh Terrors Red treatment. This will add a nice bit of extra color to the models and really kind of draw the eye to some small detail areas. And now for some wild wood, we're going to use this on any uh, weapon handles or shafts, as well as the shafts for these arrows on the couple models that have them. Now we're going to use some Nasdrag Yellow to paint all of the rope and uh, string sections on the models. I've tried a lot of different things for this kind of stuff over the past few months and I found that this works best. Now using some Space Wolf's Grey, I'm going to do a light application over the cloak on this guy's back. And now using some lead belcher, I'm going to pick out all the studs on the leather armor for the wolves and any little fastenings and details that are on the model. Now using some warp lock bronze, I'm going to pick out the details on this shield. I did a lead belcher on another shield and we're going to do a quick comparison to see which one looks better. Yeah, I'm definitely thinking the warp lock gives a nice bit of uh, extra color. The lead belcher kind of blends in a little too much with the basilicanum. So we're going to go ahead and uh, redo this one guy's shield and then use the warp lock for all of the others, as well as a couple other little details uh, like the hand grips or hand guards of some of the weapons. Now I'm going to use a little bit of orc flesh, and this is going to go over the couple of snakes on this one model's base. and then some shyish purple for this one little spider. Now to kind of give a little bit of uh, color blending, we're gonna do a very light dry brush of neutral gray over all of the tips of the fur on all of the wolves. Uh, this is going to help kind of uh, naturally mesh the different color of the Griff Charger and the Space Wolf Gray. Alright, and here we are with the finished team. These were super fun to paint. I might add a couple little details in the future, but all in all, they're a great addition to my uh, Underworlds collections. So thank you everyone for watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe for future content, comment in the comment section, let me know how I'm doing, and we will see everyone next episode.